Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for hex with this nice math problem involving square roots. And what we have here, when we have n roots of a, this also can be written as a raised to power 1 over a. Then what we have here becomes x raised to power 1 over 3 and equals to this side become 5x or raised to power half. Then from here, let's take the power of 3 on both sides. That is, raise both sides to power 3. We have x raised to power 1 over 3, then raised to power 3. Then also here we have 5x raised to power half, then or raised to power 3. And here from the law of indices, when we have a raised to power n, then raised to power n, this is a raised to power n, n. This power will multiply. Then from what we have here, when this multiply, here we cancel out and we just have x raised to power 1, which is x. Then equals to here, this power multiplies and we have 5x all raised to power 3 over 2. Then in the next step from here, two both sides to power 2, then we have x square then equals to 5x then all raised to power 3 over 2 then also raised to power 2 on this side then from here we still have x square then equals to here this also multiply then 2 here we cancel 2 here then we have 5x all raised to power 3 here. Then what we have here is the same thing as x square equals to here. This power of 3 affects 5, so we have 5 raised to power 3. Then also we have x raised to power 3, which becomes x square equals to 5 raised to power 3 means 5 multiply itself 3 times, which is 125. Then x raised to power 3. Then let's take everything to one side. Then from here we have x square minus 125 x cubed, then equals to 0 from here. Then here, let's factor what is common x square common here. So we have x square into bracket. 1 will be left here, so we have 1 minus. Here we have 125x less, then equals to 0 from here. Then, two cases here, we have x squared equals to 0. Also, we have 1 minus 125x equals to 0 from here. Then here, when we take the square root on both sides, here, square cancel square root, we have x, and here, square root of 0 is still 0 here. So we have x equals to 0 from this side. Then on this side, let's take minus 125x there, so we have 1 equals to 125x. And from here, when we divide both sides by 125, then we have 125 cancel here, we are left with x, which is equal to 1 over 125. So we have the second solution here to this given problem. Then we can check to confirm if this satisfies the given problem. We have cube root of x equals to square root of 5x. Now, substituting the first value of x, which is x equals to 0, from here we have cube root of 0, 
is equal to square root of 5 times 0 here and cube root of 0 here is still 0 then equal to 5 times 0 is 0 then we have square root of 0 is equal to that so we have 0 here equals to square root of 0 is still 0 so left hand side equals to right hand side and here x equals to 0 satisfies this given problem then for x equals to 1 over 125 then this equation becomes cube root of 125 is equals to square root of sorry cube root of 1 over 125 rather x is 1 over 125 then is equals to square root of 5 times 1 over 125 then when we check it from here here we can as well write this as 125 is same thing as 5 raised to power 3 that is 5 multiplied itself 3 times then here when we have nth root of a is same thing as a raised to power 1 over n so applying this here we can write this as 1 over 5 raised to power 3 then raised to power here we have 1 over 3 here then from there when we have 1 over a raised to power n the same thing as a raised to power minus n so on this side it implies that we can also write this as 5 raised to power minus 3 then raised to power 1 over 3 now is this equals to what is on this side here 5 can go here 1 and 5 go here that's simply 25 then this becomes square root of 1 over 25 and here we can separate it as square root of 1 which is 1 over square root of 1 over square root of 25 which is 5 so here we have 1 over 5 and also from here since this power multiplies from here so we can say here 3 go here 1 3 go here 1 and here this will mean 5 raised to power minus 1 and uh, is equals to 1 over 5 and here we can still write this again as 1 over 5 that is on the left now what we have the same as 1 over 5 which is equals to 1 over 5 also we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side and hence from here x equals to 1 over 125 satisfy this given problem thank you for watching don't forget to search. subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and see you next class and bye for now